Hello, vinyl community. Well, I must say, we just got back from uh, Idlewild uh, yesterday. Idlewild, California, uh, up in the mountains. Um, it's only an hour away from, from where we live here in Riverside. And there's just something about going up into the mountains that really, really makes you feel like you're on vacation. Anyway, um, I have some records to show, can you believe it? Now, these were purchased over the last, um, well, the first one was purchased uh, on or around the 4th of July. Well, around the 4th of July, anyway. Um, but before I get into it, I, I just feel like I should do something, I don't know, a little different. So, give me one moment. Okay, that's better. All right. Got to change things up a little bit, you know? All right, so here we are. The first one, um, we for 4th of July, we went um, to uh, down to Carlsbad to visit family for the, the holiday. Um, I think we stayed there one night. Um, anyway, so... I figured, you know what, um, Juan Hurtado had um, told me about Spin because I had previously mentioned um, Lose Records and he said that he liked Spin Records better. So, I did make a purchase there, Spin Records, Carlsbad, California. Alright, now, <clears throat> I, I like them about the same, I would say. Um, again, just as a reminder, for Lose Records, I, I didn't have time for, like, you know, a, a deep dig there, basically, um, just because, uh, you know, I, I had one of my brother, brothers in law with me, so, um, yeah. <laughs> So, you know, it, perhaps it's not a fair comparison, but I don't know. I, I, I guess I like them about the same. Um, but Juan Hurtado uh, prefers um, uh, spin records. So, I did manage to find something. Now this, um, it, it was sealed until just um, uh, last night, actually. I had to open it last night because um, apparently, well, I had it in the plastic bag on, on like a shelf uh, right over here and the cat had pulled it down so I was worried that you know it was broken but this is my favorite jazz musician Chet Baker um, if you like West Coast jazz uh, which is you know the um, it, I, I guess I would describe it as a more mellow jazz. Um, he uh, he's one of the best. Well, I think he's the best, but you know, I don't I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to um, ruffle any feathers or anything. But this is a great album. Um, Alone together, how high the moon! It never entered my mind. Tis autumn. If you can see me now, September song. You'd be so nice to come home to. Oh. Uh, time on my hands, and you, and the night, and the music. Oh man. Uh, now, obviously, this is you know this was the reissue. It's just on black vinyl. Um, I guess I can show you the label. A lot of people like to show the labels, the Riverside label. There's that. Anyway, so. Yeah, so that was down in Carlsbad, um, and then these two uh, sets are from um, Idlewild. So now <laughs> I it didn't even cross my mind that we would find vinyl in Idlewild because I knew it was you know a small town and. But what can I say? Um, 
first of all, they have a lot of little antique shops, and I, I did see vinyl at a lot of the, the antique shops. Um, it seemed like $5 was about the standard price. Um, one guy um, at the Funky Bazaar, he uh, his were, were graded, I believe, and they were considerably more. So I was like, oh, okay, that's okay. <laughs> um, but one of the $5 places, I picked up a couple. Um, I want to say, that, well, it's kind of funny because there's a store, another store, and a store here. So these two stores are owned by the same guy, and the one in the middle is owned by someone else. But the, these two stores, um, one of them was called Bubba's Books, and it was basically a used bookstore. His other one was more antiques and stuff. I'm not sure what the name of that particular one was. I, I don't remember. But it was the same owner, so Bubba's Books, we'll just say. Um, yeah, I was excited to get some Steppenwolf. I, I did show a picture of these um, after shortly after I purchased them. Um, Five dollars, so... Um, you know, the, the, there's a lot of wear there, obviously. <laughs> now, we, we just have to accept this is probably going to be a longish video. So, you yeah, know, just accept it. Oh, it's really stuck in there. Um, now, this one, this one is pretty darn clean. Yeah, this one is, I mean, it has a, a few fine scratches on it. But mostly it just needs to be cleaned up. So, yeah. <clears throat> I don't remember if I have any Steppenwolf in my collection. I don't think I do. And then here's the other one. Another Steppenwolf, $5. Uh, this is Monster. Uh, I believe someone posted that this was a really good album. So, I'm looking forward to it. Now this one... I don't know. I Oh, it has the... The gatefold. Um, this one, I could have gone either way on the on the condition. It's on Dunhill label. Um, I think most of the this has uh, a lot more scratches and scuffs and that sort of thing, but I think they're all pretty minor. Um, it's hard to say right now because it is a little dusty. Um, it doesn't look too bad, actually. So, yeah, I think it's going to clean up nicely. So, for five bucks, that's usually more than I spend, but... First of all, I really like the guy. The guy was awesome. Um, he's this, this, uh, this old, divorced... Um, guy that just, he has these couple stores, and he just hangs out there and sells some stuff, and, <laughs> um, yeah, he was real pleasant to talk to, and I guess a lot of people up in the mountains tend to be nicer than us city folk, but, um, yeah, so, if you're in Idlewild, California, definitely check out Bubba's Books, um, both stores, um, just, yeah, anyway. All right, and then the last one I was very excited about because <clears throat> um, we had just finished going in. We had just finished going in some some stores, and then one one thing about Idlewild is in the the sort of village, there's like all these streets going different ways, um, which at first is a little confusing, but you get used to it. Anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah, so we had the dogs with us, so, and fortunately Idlewild is very pet friendly. So, um, we had just finished hitting up these stores on this one side of the street, and before I, I took the trouble of taking the dogs around the corner, because we were trying to avoid hot pavement, because hot pavement is not good for dogs' paws. Um, so I waited in the shade, and I, I asked my wife to just peek around the corner and, you know, see if it was worthwhile going over there. <laughs> so, 
like a few minutes later, I was like, I, I meant literally just peek around the corner, you know? <laughs> but a few minutes later, she, she came back and she's like, oh, you have to see it. And so we went over there, we went around the corner. She took me down this little kind of alley and there were these tiny, tiny little shops um, that were uh, a, actually on, on Facebook I described it as a, about the size of a large shed. Um, each each little shop was about the size of a little uh, a large shed. And so there it was. It was called the Vinyl Vault. And she warned me that it was actually closed. I was like, oh no! <laughs> and so I didn't understand why it was closed, and so I was, I was deeply upset. Um, I believe, I, I found them on Facebook, basically, and I messaged them asking what the hours of the store were, because there were none posted. <laughs> A lot of the shops in Idlewild, um, they have no posted hours, and many are, are only open on the weekends, and, <laughs> you know, it's a, a very laid-back atmosphere up there. Um, anyway, uh, so he told me the hours were 10 to 5. Um, yeah, so I was very excited, and so I knew on our, on our way out on uh, yesterday, Thursday, um, we would probably have time to stop there, I suspected, and we had more than enough time to stop there. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was very excited. We we went back, and again, you know, it's a tiny little place. I mean, you, you could probably comfortably fit, probably comfortably fit two people in there, and slightly uncomfortably fit, fit three people in there. <laughs> Um, to, you know, do some some serious digging, but I was in there by myself, so. Um, at first I was looking through the regular bins, and um, those records were pricey, you know, they, um, I, I think he, I think he had a lot of them graded, and so uh, at first I was a little disheartened, but then I looked on the floor and I saw two dollar bins. It was um, uh, two dollars each, or three for five dollars. So I got very excited because you know I love bargain bins. Um, yeah, and I, I found some good stuff, some good good stuff. It's um, yeah, yes. Um, yeah, so I was going through the two dollar bins, and then the guy. It's funny because he was basically running two of the little shops in there. So he was in the other one and he saw me in, in the vinyl vault. And so he came over and, and said, oh, if you have any questions, just let me know. And the ones down there are are uh, $2. Um, but the ones down here I have not gone through. So those, yeah, the price will vary on those. Um, yeah, but I was happy in my little $2 bins. So... Um, there wasn't a whole lot of great stuff, but I did find some good stuff. So, um, uh, the, the one sad one was they had Iron Butterfly, Inagata De Vida, um, you know, for two bucks, and it was, it was scratched. I mean, these were just like serious scratches through most of the songs. So I was like, man, that, that's just not even playable. I mean, it, it, probably not even one song would play all the way through. <laughs> I was very disappointed, but, you know, I didn't expect much for $2, so. All right, so anyway, let's get down to it. Um, first, for my international um, music uh, collection, we have uh, Mana de Carnival and other Bossa Nova favorites. Um... I'm not sure. I I, I guess um, Mana de Carnival is the. It looks like they're the primary uh, 
musician. I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to spend a lot of time figuring that out, but I love the cover here, and then Bossa Nova. I, I don't think I have any Bossa Nova in my collection, so that's that's a nice find. This one, <laughs> this one I have no clue about, but I suspect... I suspect it's Southern Rock. It could be country, but it to me it it, it, it looks like Southern Rock. <laughs> and this cover is hilarious. Oh, <laughs> a frog riding a wooden motorcycle. <laughs> so this is Amazing Rhythm Aces, too stuffed to jump. <laughs> he does look pretty full. Oh, you know what? No, he's, I think he's just full, because he, anyway, <laughs> he, it looks like he has bits of, like, bug on his mouth. Yes, this is why I think it's probably Southern Rock. I just, I don't know. Just a wild guess. <laughs> um, some uh, Alex Degrassi clockwork. Now this one, the, I was concerned at first because, you know, this is all bent and warped, but the record itself is not. It's kind of funny because it's it's in this this really nice Wyndham Hill Records uh, uh, poly sleeve, I guess. I guess that's what you call them. And I I checked the record itself. It ha it does have it does have a minor a minor warp to it. Yeah, it does have a minor warp to it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be playable. Yeah, it's, it's, you can't really pick it up on there, but th there's, there's a little warp to it. But I, I think it's going to be fine. And if not, oh well. <laughs> All right. Now this one, I, I don't remember uh, our, our, well, um, our good friend in, in the vinyl community, she pops up now and then, um, and then she, sometimes she just disappears for a little while, but our good friend, uh, Tam, Tammy Calhoun, um, we, we share a love for George Benson, so I did not have this one. I, I don't remember if, if she has this one or not, but it's George Benson in your eyes. Yeah. Uh, just a couple more. Uh, we have Emmy Lou Harris, Luxury Liner. I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. I have a few of hers, but I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. So, And the last one, and my wife was very excited about this one. It's Wings Over America. Now I guess this... I guess it just opens like this. So, you know, it's slightly beat up, so let's let's wait for the glare. Wings over America. Not that I'm looking at it, it looks like it's actually a live album, which is fine. That's pretty cool. I didn't notice this. This is actually like a painting. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so I guess this is a live album. Um, I think it's three records. Yeah, three records. Um, they were in great condition. I was, I was pretty surprised. But my wife said, well, what songs are on it? And uh, so I started reading them. Um, just a few were Maybe I'm Amazed. Uh, Lady Madonna, The Long and Winding Road, Live and Let Die, um, Bluebird, oh, I'm thinking of Blackbird, Blackbird, Yesterday, um, yeah, so, had to pick it up, um, yeah, so, th these last ones were from the Vinyl Vault, um, then I had also gone to Bubba's Books, and the first stop um, from around the 4th of July was um, uh, Spin Records in Carlsbad, California. So, 
there you have it. Um, and you like the new glasses? <laughs> uh, I was pretty excited because you know it's it's nice coming home from a vacation and and you find something that you were not expecting waiting for you. So yeah, my new glasses had it arrived. All right, well, 20 minute mark. Sorry about that, but you know, I'm still in vacation mode. I have a couple days left. So, you know, that's how it goes. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.